okay, what if you've already done, it seems like everything to try and sleep better after menopause and you're still not sleeping. You've tried cutting out caffeine, you're keeping your bedroom cool and dark, you're going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, even on weekends. You've added magnesium, GABA, L-theanine, melatonin. Maybe you've tried everything in my personal sleep stack that I talked about a few videos ago. You picked up this book, Good Night Mind, and you started working on cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBTI. That's the treatment that research shows is the most effective for chronic insomnia, no matter what it's caused by. But maybe you've tried all that and you're still wide awake at 2.17 a.m. again. If that's where you are, I want you to know you're not crazy, you're not broken. There's a reason none of those other strategies are working for you. There's one more treatment that just might make all the difference. If you've tried all the lifestyle strategies, You've changed your diet, you've eliminated alcohol, you've gone organic, you've experimented with every supplement under the sun, or the, the moon in this case. You've done everything natural that you've been told to do, including by me, and still you're not sleeping. One woman shared this with me on YouTube a while back, and I've never forgotten her comment. She said, there are no words to describe my night sweats. I imagine hell being similar. Most nights I have them every hour of the night, starting at 12 a.m., lasting until 7 a.m. I have months in a row of a maximum accumulation of three hours of sleep, sometimes less. Well, she ended her comment with this. It is very difficult for me to want to continue to live like this. I hope I can make it alive to my BHRT appointment. It's my last hope. Well, that's what this really comes down to. It's not just sleep, but for some women, it's survival. If you're in that place right now, please hear me when I say this. There is help. There is a path forward. And for many women, that path starts with optimizing the hormones that your body is no longer producing. In this final video of my Sleep Better After Menopause series, I want to talk about the missing piece for many women. The thing that finally helps you sleep through the night after months or even years of tossing and turning. That missing piece is often hormone optimization. Every day I hear from women who say hormone optimization is a game changer, a miracle. They finally stopped waking up soaked in sweat. They finally feel like themselves again. It's not magic, it's actually physiology. I'm going to walk you through the two biggest ways that optimizing your hormones can drastically improve your sleep after menopause. The first hormone is estradiol, the main estrogen that your body makes before menopause. When estradiol levels drop, vasomotor symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats start showing up, and they can be brutal. They don't just make you uncomfortable, they wake you up at night over and over and over again, all night long. Multiple clinical trials have proven this. Lower estradiol equals more frequent night awakenings. Estradiol therapy also equals better sleep quality and fewer awakenings. So while estradiol doesn't necessarily change the sleep architecture, that's the structure of your sleep cycles, it absolutely does increase your sleep quality by reducing how often you get yanked out of sleep by a hot flash or sweat-soaked sheets. This is one of the most common things I hear. Once I got my estradiol dialed in, I finally felt free from hot flashes during the day and night sweats interrupting my nights. That freedom can be the turning point for your sleep and your sanity. The second hormone is progesterone, and this one is fascinating because of what it does to your brain while you're sleeping. I'm going to explain just a little bit of sleep architecture. When you sleep, your brain cycles through four main sleep stages. Stage one is called light sleep. That's right as you doze off, you're kind of in and out of sleep. Stage two is deeper than stage one, but it's still pretty easy to wake up from. Stage three is deep sleep, also called slow wave or N3 sleep. N3 deep sleep is the most restorative part of sleep. It's when your body repairs tissues, your brain is clearing out toxins, your immune system gets a boost. 
you can't really function without that N3 deep sleep. But here's the amazing part. Studies using EEGs, those are electroencephalograms, show that oral micronized progesterone actually increases the time that women spend in N3 deep sleep. Progesterone reduces waking after sleep onset, meaning fewer sleep interruptions. You fall asleep, you stay asleep, and you reach those critical deep N3 stages of rest. It isn't just theory. Women actually feel the difference. These are some real-life stories. My good friend and I went on oral progesterone at the same time. I love it, sleeping like a rock. Progesterone helps me sleep like a baby. For me, oral micronized progesterone is a total game changer. Immediate improvement in anxiety and sleep, I don't think I'll ever go off it. Progesterone has worked miracles for me. Rebecca is 65, started HRT less than a month ago, and it's a freaking miracle. Progesterone in a pill form has been a lifesaver for my sleep. I used to get only four hours a night. Now I average close to seven. The hot flashes and night sweats are almost gone. These are real women who felt like you do, exhausted, discouraged, desperate for relief. But now they're finally sleeping. Well, maybe you've been told that hormone therapy is risky. I completely understand that point of view. The message that hormones are dangerous has been pounded into your consciousness for the past 30 years. From the media, from friends, relatives, even your own doctors probably said something along that line. The truth is, when the right hormones are given in the right way, they can actually reduce or eliminate menopause symptoms, including insomnia, hot flashes, and night sweats. It's not about masking those symptoms with a sleeping pill. It's about replacing the hormones your body no longer makes. If you've tried everything else and nothing has worked, hormone optimization might be the solution that you're missing. If you want to understand how to safely and effectively optimize those hormones, I'd love to invite you to enroll in my course. It's called The Menopause Solution, and it's available at simplehormones.com decision. I'm going to show you how estradiol and progesterone work, what kind of labs you'll need and how your doctor will help you read them what optimal and not just normal levels really look like, how to partner with the right provider to get results. This is kind of a roadmap that I'd love every woman to have when she starts menopause. Well, you don't have to settle for restless nights, sweaty sheets, and dragging through the day. There is hope, and there is a path forward. Visit simplehormones.com decision to enroll, or click the link at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope tonight is the night that you sleep straight through. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the course.